Hi everyone, we are here today with our wonderful Barb Minemeyer and she is one of uh, Connect Coaches, um, health coaches and uh, she specializes in, well actually let me just ask her. So welcome Barb. Hi Liz, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. So uh, Barb, tell us actually what you specialize in. I was about to give away the secrets but I want you to, I want you to tell everyone what you specialize in. Well, actually, my passion is really educating and working with people around identifying the chemicals in their food. You know, we've been brainwashed to count calories, and we really need to start counting the chemicals and really take a hard look at the ingredients that are in the foods that we're eating. I love that, that, that differentiator between counting the calories, which, of course, is kind of what we are, you know, what, what, we're used to doing right. the chemicals so i think that's a great differentiator and mm -hmm. actually really the when i think about it it's incredibly important yeah because they're in like they're hormone disruptors they prevent people from losing the weight that they're working so hard to do mm -hmm. and yeah so and it, they're the root cause of inflammation as well so people really need to pay attention to that yeah, that makes that makes total sense. Yeah. Absolutely. So, what what actually led you to become a coach, and and why did you choose to specialize in in what you're doing? Okay. Well, what led me is I had my own wake up call uh, back in 2007. I uh, went to the doctor. I was diagnosed. I had water around my heart, and it wasn't just a little; it was quite a bit. And because of that, the process started for me. I went from one doctor to another doctor to another doctor, was put on four medications, and I'm not a medication person, and that just struck me as a bit overkill. So at the urging of a friend of mine, I sought out an alternative practitioner who was an energetic healer and was healed through working with him. And because of that experience, it really had me pause and take a look at the differences in treatment. One was medication, the other one was not. And you know, as you know, there's side effects to medications as well, which can create another whole host of issues for people. So that really got me started on my path as a result of where I, then I worked with him for a year and then from there went on to school. To wow. Learn nutrition. So so it really was your own personal health um, problem that actually caused you to start looking at this and then saying, actually, I, I really want to step in, you know, working with this, this, um, this guy. And then actually you saying, hey, actually, I want to do this for other people as well. Right. But, you know, Liz, I just want to be clear, it wasn't so much my problem, but it was the treatment plans for uh -huh. the problem. There we go. Thank you. And thank you for differentiating yeah. those two. So, so who, would, uh, who would actually benefit from working with you, Barb? Well, you know, I work with people that have tried just about everything out there. They've been on every diet they can think of. They've tried to like not eat as much, you know, how people think that if you don't eat that it's okay, you know, that's how you lose weight. They've tried everything and they're just so sick and tired of not getting any results and they're feeling worse and worse. And so they'll come to me not only for the weight loss, but also just to feel better in their body again. You know, I so, like that. Yeah. so people either at that end or those who have been recently diagnosed with high cholesterol, type two diabetes, to get help on how to, you know, cut that down. So it really is. Um, so it, it, it's not just about losing weight. It really is about getting healthy, isn't it? It is because so many people are walking around feeling horrible, fatigued, bloated, brain fogged. You know, I talk to people every day and those are the same recurring symptoms that I hear over and over again. Wow. That's actually that really saddens me, but it also gives me great hope because there's people like you in the world. Yes, and actually, absolutely. Really, so that's exciting. So, I mean, we we now know the type of client that would benefit from working with you. But what do you actually do for your clients? I mean, how do you work with them? Well, you know, I actually I hold their hands and and help them through this process. You know, some people have never done this before. They're frightened. They don't know. Can I do this? You know, am I going to fail at this or am I going to succeed at this? 
you know, so there's a lot of fear around that. So I reassure them that I got their back, I'm in their pocket, and together we're going to walk this journey. So what I do initially is I have them fill out a food log, write down everything they're eating. And by doing that, I can identify the culprits that are the cause of their symptoms. Oh my God, I love that. I yeah. love that idea. Like just yeah. the simplicity of, of having a food log and then, and then you kind of like almost diagnosing that and saying, okay, well, the issue is because you're eating X amount of that and, and you know, too much of that and not enough of that and all the right. rest. Of it. Right. And uh, so after identifying that, then we do it by a process of elimination. I'll never say, okay, no more of this or no more of that. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, well, you like pasta seven days a week, let's cut it back to four. Because I want them to be able to see the small successes and accomplishments that they make. And I don't want to cut everything out totally because that's only going to make them angry, right? And we don't want that. So we want them to, to not get angry, feel good about what they're doing because people can manage that. Okay, instead of seven days, four. Yeah. You know, Let's yeah. add some more greens in. You need more energy. That you makes know? To purify your blood you know you you know so we add in and crowd out i love that i love that yeah. idea so just briefly what uh, what gives you the greatest joy when you're coaching a client what gives me the greatest joy and i get emotional about it is that i really i see them transform right before me because as they go through this process with me and they become more confident in themselves like hey i can do this I've done this already and I can do this and this. They get more confident and then it really has a ripple effect throughout every area of their lives. They no longer will settle for situations that they used to settle for. Okay, I've had people leave jobs, leave relationships because it hasn't been working in their favor and they're feeling better about themselves. Because you know, the truth is Liz, 20% of our work is around the food. 80% is around the emotional triggers that keep people eating for reasons other than hunger. So we get into the emotional piece, you know, the food and together it's just, it's just amazing. And I'll share some client stories with you as we get go on later on that are just uh, amazing. I look forward to that. Yeah. Oh, Bob, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed talking with you today and I highly recommend that uh, anyone who has any kind of health issues or scares or, you know, maybe feeling, you know, as you were saying, the, um, that, that fogginess or the bloatedness or, or I'm even thinking, you know, constipation and there's a lot of other, you know, things that happen and we just need to get the diet right. So, right. I love that. Bob, thank you so much for joining us today. And I highly recommend that uh, anyone comes and uh, at least signs up with you um, and even, even have a, uh, just a, a brief uh, laser session. So that'd be wonderful. Yeah. I offer end the struggle sessions with me for a half an hour. And you know, sometimes it's just a tweak or two is all we need to do to get you right on track again. Oh, and uh, thanks for having me, Liz. It was great to be here. Wonderful. Thank you so much.